Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new Photoshop tutorial and I'm so geared up, I'm so pumped and I'm so excited to be back after a month vacation and I'm so thankful to you guys for showing your love on my Patreon. I didn't expect that my Patreon will grow that fast and again thank you so much and also uh, if you want to make a poster designs or a sports poster design for your kids or for your school team or for your for your own team then yes DM me on my email and also comment me down on the bottom and I'll try to reach out to you guys as soon as I can and with that note let's dive into the video so here we are in Photoshop and first thing first let's create a composition so for that I'm going to create uh, it by 10 inches let's keep the resolution as 300 and let's keep the rest as default and let's click on create let's import these stocks in Photoshop so let's drag and drop right over here and uh, I forgot that where I got these stocks files from uh, but if you are on my page then you can get it for free and for others uh, uh, just try to look for uh, kind of similar images on on onsplash.com or maybe pixel bay or somewhere yeah just just try to find out and let's drag and drop this image right over here and let's convert it as a smart object and control T let's make it a little bigger and let's rotate it maybe like this yeah, let's make it a more bigger yep maybe something like that and let's drag and drop this image right over here and let's convert it as a smart object too and control T let's make it a little smaller maybe right over here maybe let's keep it maybe somewhere around here I think looks good to me and let's drag and drop another image let's see uh, where it is maybe this one let's drag and drop right over here and let's convert this as a smart object too and control T let's make it a little smaller let's make a rotation and control J let's make a copy control T let's keep it maybe right around here or yep, maybe right around here yeah, let's increase the size just a little touch and control J one more time and let's keep it all the way to the bottom control T let's keep it right over here yep maybe somewhere around here control T let's rotate it yep something like that and for this one too let's rotate it yep something like that let's make this a little bigger maybe right around this size now let's keep it maybe right over here and let's drag and drop this white flare right over here let's change it to screen let's keep it maybe maybe right over here and control L to get the labels and just get rid of those hard edges from here yep somewhere around here and control J control T let's keep it one right over here let's keep it under this layer layer max go to brush and let's get rid of these parts and make sure the color is black yep something like that and let's make a one more copy control J control T let's make a rotation and let's keep it maybe maybe right around here I guess and let's maybe up something like that and now let's create a new layer over here and go to the brush and let's change the color to kind of darker greenish tone maybe somewhere around more toward green I guess yep maybe, maybe something like that and let's change the blending mode to color and let's go to the brush and let's colorize this you know what like let's make it like more darker yep 
and let's go more toward this color yep I think this is okay for me yep and let's change the color opacity maybe somewhere around here let's make it more darker yep somewhere around here mm -hmm. yep then let's change the opacity just a little bit yep somewhere around here now let's create a new layer again and let's go for a little warmer tone and same thing let's change the color blending mode to color and let's change the opacity yep somewhere around here yep something like that and now let's create a one more layer and let's change the color to kind of white color and let's change the blending mode to screen let's change the brush size a little bigger yep and let's add some right over here and let's change the opacity maybe like that let's erase some of these parts from the bottom yep something like that and let's create a one more layer on the top and go to the brush again and let's change the blending mode to screen again and let's add some whites right over here and right over here and some just a little touch and let's change the opacity maybe somewhere around here now let's create a new layer and let's go to the edit and let's go to the fill and let's fill it with 50% gray let's change the blending mode to soft light and let's from here let's go to burn tool and let's make those parts a little darker mm -hmm. yep somewhere around here and now let's create a new layer or maybe right over here and now let's go to the brush and let's change the color to black maybe somewhere around here and let's make those parts a little darker yep something like that and maybe more darker on this side and maybe more darker over here over here too and maybe more darker right over here too and let's change the opacity just a little touch maybe somewhere around here i guess you know what let's do a little adjustment on this layer so select the main image Control t let's add a little bit of rotation and let's maybe let's keep it right over here i guess okay uh, all right and now let's do some color adjustment so go to the filter and let's go to the camera raw filter and from here let's increase the clarity increase the texture increase the shadows drop down the highlights and from here go to the saturation and let's drop down the orange just a little bit and from here let's drop down the vibrance to maybe somewhere around here and maybe let's increase a contrast just like so and let's click on ok so here we have now let's do the same thing for our background image so select the layer go to the filter and let's go to the camera raw filter and just to get some good starting points so go over here let's apply the previous setting and maybe increase the clarity some more and let's increase the color noise reduction and noise reduction just a little touch and let's click on ok so here we have and let's do the same thing for for these concrete parts so select this layer go to the filter let's go to the camera raw filter and let's apply the previous setting and for this one let's drop down the vibrance some more maybe somewhere around here and let's click on ok and for uh, for these two layers so select this layer 
go to filter apply the same camera raw filter and let's apply the previous setting and let's click on ok and for this one too let's go to the filter let's apply camera raw filter and let's apply the previous setting let's drop down highlight some more yep something like that all right now let's add some highlights uh, on our main image so select this layer create a new layer on top of it right click create a clipping max let's go to the brush and let's change the blending mode to soft light let's go for a black color and let's make those a little darker maybe right around here yep let's make those darkers yep some over here too and from here too all right now let's drop down the opacity just a little touch maybe somewhere around here and on the same layer let's change the color to white and let's add some highlights let's add some highlights right over here and for his face too let's add some highlights over here too all right so this is what we have now let's add a color lot so go over here let's apply a color lookup and from here let's apply the Mm, this one and let's drop down the opacity just like so all right now let's create a new layer and go to the edit go to fill and let's choose 50 percent gray and let's make it soft light and from here let's do some dodge and burn so let's go for a dodge tool first and let's make those parts more brighter yep somewhere around like that and let's go for a burn tool burn tool and let's make those parts more darker yep something like that and now let's add some dust elements so go over here let's drag and drop this image right over here Control T let's make it bigger and let's keep this under this layer and let's create a layer max go to the brush and let's erase those hard parts right over here and let's make a copy Control J Control T let's make a rotation let's add some right over here and let's add some another dust element so here we have let's drag and drop this image right over here control T let's make a rotation and let's add one right over here and control J let's keep it all the way to the bottom control T and let's keep it one right over here and let's make a one more copy control J and let's keep it maybe right over here maybe on very top and control T yep somewhere around here and now let's add another color lot so go over here click on color lookup and from here click on load and i'm going to use my mood lot so if you want to download the same lot pack please check on the description list below the select this one and click on load and from here let's dial down the opacity maybe right over here now let's add some text so go over here let's add a text and let's go to the very bottom layer and let's add some warmer color on the very back so let's go over here let's create a new layer go to the brush and let's change the color to kind of more 
like a uh, yellow stone and let's make it like that let's change the blending mode to color and let's drop down the opacity just like so yep and let's go on the very top let's add a new layer and let's change the blending mode to color and let's add some right over here too and let's dial down the opacity just like so and let's create a one more layer and let's change the blending mode to soft light and let's make the color black and let's make these parts a little darker and let's drop down the opacity just just like so and now let's merge all this layer ctrl shift alt and e and let's go to the filter let's go to the camera raw filter and let's increase the clarity and let's drop down the highlights just like that and let's increase the saturation maybe somewhere around here yep something like that let's increase the color noise reduction let's increase the noise reduction and from here let's drop down the saturation for the orange and just a little touch for yellow let's increase for red let's increase for aqua and let's increase for green and for the hue for this yellow let's dial more to our orange yep something like that and let's click on okay so that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you guys in the next video